For what I was thinking is, have we improved in our technology in the production of the vaccine so that we can assure the public that the present vaccine we are offering to you is better than the older ones? Uh, I think that must be answered by a research worker, somebody from the National Institute of Virology, you know, and somebody, some, we, we usually have a medical coordinator in the company, for example, the Serum Institute will have their own medical coordinator, and uh, I, I, I'm only talking from a practicing pediatrician's view. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, no. Uh, who had a one-page article about him in uh, Anand Avedan, where he says, being a doctor, he's the one who treats the patient for uh, one rupee, and now I think he's charging 10 rupees in Alpha. So he is appreciated for that effort. But he says, all vaccines for the children is not at all necessary. He has not vaccinated his two children. How do you uh, see was, this? And uh, did, did, you, did you read this one in uh, Anand Avedan? You are read from pediatrician side why you did not write a letter to the I'm sorry to ask because we are not able to defend ourselves. I had a friend of mine, sir, by name Dr. Ramalingam. We were working at that time in infectious disease unit. When we were DCH postgraduates, we used to see at least 10 cases of polymeritis. At least two, three of them will be bulbar polymeritis. When we became MDPGs, we had only one case that was in the year 81-83. Now we know that there are very, very rarely, except the Bimru, which always is the sore point of India. What I am trying to say is, it is okay if the man wants, doesn't want to immunize his children, it is his funeral. As a father, he has failed in his duty. The success story of immunization needs uh, no explanation at all. We have eradicated smallpox and we are on the verge. I'm sure if every one of us actively take up the injectable polio vaccine also, and if we can remove the fears from sec some sections of the community in Uttar Pradesh that there is nothing wrong in taking oral polio vaccine, you know, they, we will definitely eradicate uh, polio in no time. See how many cases of diphtheria I used to see. Dr. Narasimhachari used to pull me into the isolation ward and show me this is a diphtheria with bull neck. This is one with a laryngeal extension. I, I have not seen a diphtheria for the last... I have seen one in Chaistas in the last one decade. And I have not seen in practice a diphtheria in the last one decade. See, every everything... I, I still remember the arguments that went on between uh, uh, Dr. BRS and um, one professor of uh, pediatrics in KMC, uh, Subaya, when the measles vaccine was introduced, you know, uh, he said measles is such an innocuous disease, we should be vaccinated. But then, you know, people had to quote undernourished children, children who are having immunodeficiency transiently following measles who develop life-threatening infections like pneumonia, enterocolitis, heart disease media, meningitis. And now, you know, we, 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 we do see measles. I wouldn't say we don't see measles because whenever I suspect measles, I'm sending the serology sample to King Institute. And if I, ten, if I send a, in a fever with rash 10 samples, at least two of them or three of them still become positive for measles. But they run a very milder course, in the present day measles. I still remember a child whom I lost in West Hospital due to post measles, uh, enterocolitis, malnutrition, and septicemia. So, uh, if it, it is all, you know, let us not be extremists. You need not be an atheist. You need not be a theist. If you want to remain an agnostic, remain an agnostic throughout your life. But when somebody asks, when somebody can afford it, when somebody asks, can I have it? Don't say, don't have it. I think you are not doing the right thing. I don't represent any of the multinationals who are selling vaccines. Thank you.